Ngayon, pagsamahin natin i-discuss yung arithmetic series and sigma notation. So, best way para maintindihan natin yung topic na to, isolve natin tong problem na to. So, meron tayong 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus ellipsis plus hanggang 6,000. Hanapin ang sum nito or arithmetic sum. Una nyan, meron tayong general equation ng arithmetic series. to a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. So, may apat tayong letters dito or variable. to mga terms na to. Yung a sub 1 first term, a sub n last term, yung n number of terms, yung d common difference or sa formula na second term minus first term. So, ito yung review lang ng arithmetic series natin sa lower grade. Kung mapapansin nyo dito sa problem natin, meron tayong first term, which is 3. Last term natin, 6,000. Meron tayong common difference. Second term natin ay 6. Then minus first term na 3. So, ang common difference natin, or yung d ay 3. Plus n minus 1 times 3. Kasi hahanapin natin yung number of terms nyan. Hindi natin alam kung ilang terms meron siya. Solve natin tong equation na to. Tong 3, lipat dun sa kabila, magiging 5,997 na lang siya. Is equal to, to n minus 1 times 3. Divide natin ng 3. Divide natin ng 3. Ito ay n minus 1 na lang. Ito ay magiging 1,999. Then, lipat sa kabila yung 1, ang number of terms natin ay 2,000. Tapos, may formula tayo ng arithmetic sum, S sub n is equal to n over 2, multiplied by 2, A sub 1 plus n minus 1, times common difference. So, ito, memorize nyo to, tsaka itong, hanapin natin yung sum ng 2,000 terms or S2000 is equal to 2000 over 2. 2 times first term natin na 3 plus 2000 minus 1 times common difference na 3. S2000 is equal to okay, 1000 na lang multiplied by 6 plus Ito ay 1,999 times 3. So, 5,997. Ang sum niyan ay 6,003,000. So, yun na yung sagot natin using arithmetic sum. Solve natin to using ano, summation or yung sigma notation. So, meron tayong first term na 3. Meron tayong second term na 6. Meron tayong third term na 9. Pag ganito, diba common difference ay 3. Ang sigma notation yan, 3x, then x is equal to 1, papuntang 2,000 terms. Kasi 2,000 terms lahat eh. Nak-solve natin kanina. Ito. Ito yan, yung sigma notation niya. Pag tinanong if ano ang corresponding na sigma notation niya. Kapag ni-reverse process natin, if ito yung given, hanapin, i-expand natin siya. So, magiging 3 times 1 plus 3 times 2 plus 3 times 3. But the same lang din siya dun sa original given natin. 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus dot dot dot. So, hanggang 3 times 2,000. Ito ay 6,000. Yan yung dulong term natin. So, ito yung summation natin. Lagay natin dito. So, pwedeng pag ganito yung summation natin, equal lang din to siya sa, tapos summation, x is equal to 1, papuntang 2,000 terms, then x. And the same lang sila. So, simplify natin to, magiging 3 times, ito, ang pag-solve kasi nito, siya ay, number of terms over 2 then multiplied by first term 
plus last term. Yan, yan yung formula niya. Pero x na lang. Yung first and last term. Sabihin, kapag sinubstitute natin yan, kasi nilabas na natin yung 3. 3 times number of terms natin ay 2,000. Then over 2. Itong 2,000, pwede rin itong makuha itong number of terms na to if iba to. For example, 3 to. So magiging 2,000 minus 3 plus 1. Yun yung number of terms. So for example lang, 3 if 3 to. Then multiply natin sa first term which is ito, x. So substitute natin yung 1. So 1 plus 2,000. Yung last term natin, 2,000. Substitute mo dito sa x. So, yan na yung sum nila. Simplify natin 3 times 1,000 times 2,001. Sagot niyan ay 6 million 3,000. Okay? The same siya dun sa nasagot na natin kanina. Ito, tsaka ito. The same. So, ganun lang siya.